classical logic. Classical logic is the foundation of many other types of logic. It operates on the principle that every statement is either true or false, known as the law of bivalence. This binary approach simplifies reasoning into clear, decisive conclusions. In classical logic, we use structures like propositions, statements that declare something, and connectives like and, or, not, to form arguments. The strength of classical logic lies in its ability to provide definitive conclusions given certain premises. For example, if all humans are mortal and Socrates is a human, then it logically follows that Socrates is mortal. This form of logic is particularly powerful in mathematics and science, where clear, unambiguous statements are crucial for building knowledge. Modal logic. Modal logic extends classical logic by introducing modes of truth, such as necessity and possibility. Instead of just true or false, statements can be necessarily true, possibly true, or necessarily false. This type of logic is used to discuss not just what is, but what could be or must be. For instance, the statement, it is necessary that 2 plus 2 4 expresses a different kind of truth than it is possible that it will rain tomorrow. Modal logic is particularly useful in philosophy, computer science and linguistics, where understanding potentiality and necessity enriches the analysis of language, knowledge and computation. Click subscribe to this channel to get more topics you love. Intuitionistic logic. Intuitionistic logic challenges a core aspect of classical logic, the law of excluded middle, which states that every proposition is either true or not true. Intuitionists argue that just because we can't prove a statement false doesn't necessarily mean it's true and vice versa. This logic is more concerned with the constructive proof of assertions rather than their abstract truth. For example, in intuitionistic logic, to claim that a number is either prime or not prime, one must provide a method to determine its primality, not just assume one of the options must be correct. This approach is particularly valued in areas like computer programming and constructive mathematics, where the process of finding a solution is as important as the solution itself. Temporal logic. Temporal logic deals with propositions in the context of time, focusing on sequences of events and their conditions. It's used to reason about statements like eventually, until, or during. This logic is crucial in computer science for specifying and verifying the behaviors of systems over time. For example, in a software development context, temporal logic can express requirements such as a user must log in before accessing data or data is saved after editing is completed. It helps in designing systems where the timing and order of operations are critical for functionality and security. Deontic logic. Deontic logic is the study of normative concepts such as obligation, permission and prohibition. It's key in understanding legal and ethical statements. For instance, the statement, you must not drive over the speed limit, can be represented in deontic logic to analyze and infer other legal obligations or permissions. This type of logic is widely used in legal reasoning, ethical AI systems, and automated decision-making processes where rules and duties need to be clearly defined and consistently applied. Epistemic logic. Epistemic logic explores the concepts of knowledge and belief among individuals or agents. It helps to analyze statements like, Alice knows that Bob went to the store, or, it is believed that the meeting will start at noon. This type of logic is crucial for distinguishing between what is known and what is believed, a distinction that can impact decisions and actions in significant ways. Epistemic logic is particularly relevant in fields such as artificial intelligence, where understanding and modeling the knowledge states of intelligent agents are essential. It also plays a role in philosophy and game theory, 
helping to address questions about knowledge, misinformation, and strategies based on beliefs. Fuzzy logic. Fuzzy logic is a form of many-valued logic where the truth values of variables may be any real number between zero and one. This approach is in contrast to classical logic in which the truth values are strictly true, one or false, zero. Fuzzy logic is particularly useful in dealing with problems in which the truth of something can be a matter of degree rather than a simple binary choice. For example, consider the statement, it is hot outside. In fuzzy logic, this can be somewhat true if the temperature is moderately high and very true if the temperature is extremely high. This logic is widely used in control systems, pattern recognition, and decision-making where binary distinctions are inadequate. Quantum logic. Quantum logic modifies classical logic to better handle the peculiar, often counterintuitive nature of quantum mechanics. In quantum physics, certain pairs of properties like position and momentum cannot be simultaneously known to arbitrary precision, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Quantum logic, therefore, deals with the probability of an event occurring rather than its certainty. It uses a mathematical framework that differs from classical logic, accommodating the strange phenomena like superposition and entanglement that are fundamental to quantum theory. This logic is essential for researchers in quantum computing and physics, as it provides a structured way to reason about quantum systems. Relevance logic. Relevance logic, also known as relevant logic, addresses issues with classical logic where inferences can be made from unrelated premises. For example, in classical logic, the statement, if the moon is made of green cheese, then two plus two to four is technically true because the conclusion is true regardless of the premise. Relevance logic seeks to ensure that the premises used in arguments are actually relevant to the conclusion. This type of logic is important in legal arguments, programming and philosophy, where the connection between reasons and conclusions cannot be arbitrary. Paraconsistent logic Paraconsistent logic allows for the handling of contradictory information without descending into absurdity, explosion, where everything becomes provable. In classical logic, once a contradiction is present, any and all conclusions can logically follow, which is often not a useful or realistic outcome. Paraconsistent logic is crucial in domains like information retrieval and legal reasoning, where conflicting information may coexist and need to be dealt with logically, without leading to nonsensical conclusions. It provides a framework for reasoning amid inconsistencies, a common occurrence in complex real-world data sets. Predicate logic. Predicate logic extends the simplicity of propositional logic by incorporating quantifiers and predicates, allowing it to express statements involving variables and their properties. Unlike propositional logic, which only deals with whole statements as units, predicate logic can analyze and construct arguments about elements within those statements. For example, all humans are mortal can be expressed with a universal quantifier, all, and a predicate, are mortal, applied to a subject, humans. This allows for a much richer exploration of language and concepts, making predicate logic fundamental in mathematics computer science and linguistics for formulating and proving complex statements about sets of objects and their attributes. Multivalued logic. Multivalued logic includes systems where more than the traditional two truth values, true and false, are possible. This approach is useful when dealing with uncertainties and scenarios where binary yes-no answers are insufficient. For instance, in addition to true and false, a multi-valued logic might include values like unknown or irrelevant. This type of logic finds applications in digital electronics and computer science, particularly in the design of circuits that handle more than binary states, and in databases 
where data entries might not fit neatly into true or false categories. Non-monotonic logic. Non-monotonic logic is a type of logic in which the addition of new information can invalidate previous conclusions. This contrasts with classical logic, where once something is concluded, it remains concluded regardless of further information. Non-monotonic logic reflects how we often reason in real life. Our conclusions are provisional and can change with new evidence. This logic is crucial in artificial intelligence and knowledge representation, especially in dynamic environments where the context and knowledge base continuously evolve, requiring systems that can adapt and update their conclusions accordingly. Linear logic. Linear logic is a refinement of classical logic, which considers not just whether statements are true or false, but also the resources involved in stating them. It introduces a notion of consuming and producing resources when propositions are used in proofs. This is especially useful in programming and systems design, where managing resources like memory and processing power is crucial. For example, linear logic can help ensure that a computer program does not use more resources than it frees up, leading to more efficient and reliable software. Dire Atheism Dialetheism is an approach to logic that accepts that some statements can be both true and false simultaneously. This is useful in dealing with paradoxes like the liar paradox, where a statement refers to itself in a way that creates a contradiction. This statement is false. By allowing for true contradictions, dialetheism provides a framework for understanding and discussing scenarios that traditional logic would find inexpressible or unsolvable. Dialetheism challenges our basic notions of truth and is influential in philosophical debates about truth, belief, and the limits of knowledge. Syllogistic logic. Syllogistic logic, developed by Aristotle, is one of the earliest forms of logical reasoning. It involves deducing conclusions from a set of categorical premises. Each premise and the conclusion describe a relation between two categories using terms like all, inern, or some. For example, from the premises all men are mortal and Socrates is a man, one can conclude Socrates is mortal. This form of logic is foundational in understanding structured arguments and is a precursor to more complex systems of logic used today. Computational logic. Computational logic applies the principles of logic to the field of computation. It encompasses techniques and theories from both computer science and logic to solve problems related to automation, theorem proving and algorithm design. This logic is fundamental in developing software and hardware systems that perform logical operations, automate reasoning and make decisions based on logical processes. Computational logic forms the backbone of programming language design, verification of software, and the implementation of intelligent systems. Probabilistic logic. Probabilistic logic combines elements of probability theory with classical logic to manage uncertainty in reasoning. It assigns probabilities to logical statements, allowing for a more nuanced understanding of likelihood and risk. This type of logic is especially valuable in fields like artificial intelligence, where it's used to model uncertain information and make predictions. For example, probabilistic logic can help in medical diagnosis by calculating the probabilities of various diseases based on symptoms and test results. Belief revision. Belief revision is the process of changing beliefs logically based on new evidence, this branch of logic deals with how to update a knowledge system in a consistent way when faced with new, possibly contradicting, information. It's crucial in dynamic environments where information continuously changes and decisions must be updated accordingly. Belief revision is particularly relevant in AI, where systems must adapt to new data without becoming inconsistent. Hybrid logic. 
Hybrid logic combines features of several logics, often enhancing modal logic with additional operators to handle specific scenarios more effectively. It allows for referencing times, places or individuals directly in the logic, making it extremely useful for complex applications like temporal reasoning, spatial reasoning and context-aware computing. Hybrid logic can be tailored to include elements of temporal, epistemic or other specialized logics, thereby providing a versatile framework for reasoning about a wide range of scenarios and domains.